and welcome to Galahad. We're coming to town, the second right, and uh, you're on your way to Griffey's. It's past the old Queen Church here in the Agriplex, and we're pretty much kitty corner across the street from that. Coming up, you'll see the green chain link fence here, the nice blue, the porch on a 1920s kit home that we've turned into an antique store. Welcome to Griffey's. Come on in. We've been waiting for you. I've always liked collecting stuff. I've been in a lot of old homes over the years growing up in Vancouver. Uh, East Vancouver when they were remodeling in the 60s and stuff. I had an uncle who used to take me out collecting stuff with him and I really enjoyed that. You know, all the old windows, all the old doors, the door handles and stuff. So I got a bit of a passion for that in the early years and I started collecting and now we have a bunch of stuff. We're just getting going now. We've been open for a couple of months. Uh, we've got a grand opening coming up on uh, June 22nd. Uh, trying to time it for the summer months. We started last year when we came up with the idea and decided to empty out all the back rooms and stuff we had to see if we could move forward with this. So this year will be our first full year. We've been north, south, east and west, Edmonton, Calgary, and the hustle and bustle is really just too much. We were looking in East Central, because you can get anywhere in six hours, and we just happened to find this quaint little location of Galahad, Alberta. One of the most antique, antique, unique antiques is probably a couple of them are that liquor cabinet in there with the three-way hinge on it that's just a nice piece. You wouldn't suspect that, and when it opens up, it really has an ambiance to it. The retro uh, display cabinet that looks like it came out of an old movie theater or something in the 50s. Um, of course, the leaded glass. I've always just liked that stuff, you know, from the early years. You know, when the sun hits it, it changes the color of a room and it really does warm you up. The community has been fantastic. The few people we know in business around here have supported us 100%. Uh, Greg LeMay in Forsberg, for instance, a, a wonderful person, him and his wife, uh, Susan. Uh, locally, it seems to be everybody's happy that we're doing something in town here. So it's, it's been great. That truck is a 1966 Ford and when we were starting this business we kind of figured we needed a shop truck so we can go to antiquing and garage sailing, promote the business with it and be in the genre of what we're doing instead of driving the brand new truck out or the work truck out, you know, to go do it. So. It's nice, we, we really do like vehicles. We have a couple of them and the 51 Ford is just a classic and I've had that for a number of years now too. And we just like to get out on the weekends and knock it down a notch, you know? We don't have to be in such a hurry when you're driving that stuff. You look around and you take your time and enjoy your day.